Hey, awesome meals on 18 wheels. We're here in um, Gilbert, Arizona. Happy Halloween. So anyways, Tim and I are going to make a meatloaf today and um, I'm going to put it in the crock pot. So I found a good recipe on, it came across my Facebook. Actually, I think I posted it last year. I never got around to making it, so I'm going to make it now. And it sounds fairly easy. So it calls to be in the oven for like two or three hours, but we're going to do it in the crock pot because obviously we don't have an oven. And uh, we're going to do that in, on low for like five hours. So what I did was it calls for um, a pack of savory, and er savory herbs, stovetop stuffing, one packet of Lipton onion soup, two eggs, which I have pre-beaten, and um, I went ahead and made the stuffing. Now the stuffing, um, the regular stuffing packet calls for a cup and a half of water and um, the recipe says one cup of water so it must not want to be um, too wet so um, I went ahead and I pre-made this and I beat my eggs and we got like you're supposed to get like two pounds of um, ground beef so it's a little over two pounds but it'll be fine so anybody that likes like um, meatloaf sandwiches and stuff like that this I think will be a really good recipe um, to have in a truck, you can have leftover meatloaf sandwiches, or if you don't like the sandwiches, you can remake it again, you know, with some mashed potatoes or rice or just a vegetable or whatever it is that you want to do. Now, the other thing, crock pot, I mentioned this before in previous videos, my crock pot liners, I already have my liner in there, and um, actually, I don't think this is a necessary step, but I go ahead and do it anyways, put a little cooking spray in there just so it doesn't stick real bad I don't think you have to because um, ground beef is fairly greasy and I'm sure it would slip right out but I just do that that's something I just do so um, okay made the stuffing I'm gonna add the eggs and a packet I'll just put the packet of onion soup mix in now and this video is probably gonna be in two parts because obviously I can't continue it or I have a cheapy phone you can't pause in between like that and come back to it um, so I'll make a second part like what the outcome was and uh, do it that way so I put my 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 uh, onion soup mix in there I'm gonna mix that in with the, the stuffing and now we're gonna add some eggs okay Add the two beaten eggs. As much out of there as you can, I guess. We'll be doing dishes here shortly. Put that off to the side. And now my ground beef. I'm just gonna open that up. Now I use gloves. You can do this any way you want. If you don't like handling meat, then by all means use some kind of a chopper or whatever. Um I prefer to use my hands, so that's why I put gloves on, so I'm not all yucky in it. I'm just, we're just gonna mix it around real good. Hope everybody's having a good Halloween. Don't eat too much candy, and uh, hope everybody's safe out there and having good weather and all that stuff. And uh, keep your goodies in the bowl. <laughs> It smells awful good. Do you smell that, Tim? Do you mm. smell the... If you like stuffing, it would probably be... I'm sure you could put any any form of stuffing in here you wanted to, whatever flavor you like, but... Now, the recipe that I found on Facebook, actually, if you do this at home, it says to put it in a bunt pan. The round bunt pans. And then... After you cook it in the bunt pan, you're supposed to make mashed potatoes and you flop the mashed potatoes in the middle of the ring. It's kind of like a presentation thing, I guess. Makes it look pretty cool. So. What are you going to call this meal? Hmm, what should we call this? High mileage meatloaf. <laughs> there you go. We'll go high mileage meatloaf. Yeah. So, let's 
beautiful out here in Arizona. I know um, the weather's getting a little colder up in the northeast where we're from, but it's uh, kind of nice down here today. The sun's shining. It's like in the in the 70s, and um, so far so good. It's a good day. We're at our delivery point. We're not setting the world on fire, getting it unloaded, but what are you going to do, you know? That's trucking. You know how it goes. Alrighty, so I'm pretty happy with how this is. Thank you, Assistant Tim. Big sexy, my cameraman. He's a big helper. Alrighty. So like I said, I got this all sprayed up. Try and form it into a loaf as best I can. I'm just going to form the rest of it in the pot. Okay. Doesn't have to be fancy pants. This, we're truckers, you know. Do the best you can, especially when you're in a a smaller truck. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this with some vegetables later or a salad and maybe some mashed potatoes or a rice or maybe not because there's so much stuffing in there. We'll see. We'll see what we're in the mood for. But anyways, there it is. It's in the pot, in the, the crock pot. And um, I'm big on no more than one appliance at a time. Crock pots don't seem to suck too much energy, but I also don't like to run the crock pot if the truck's not running. So I'm gonna put this on low, which doesn't take a lot of juice, you know, protecting your power inverter and stuff like that. Um, and we're just gonna let this go for like five hours and I'll poke a meat thermometer in it and see when it's about 170 degrees and then we'll uh, we'll go from there so there's a meatloaf in the crock pot all you truckers that love meatloaf or whatever or don't like the crummy meatloaf from the truck stop there you go you can do it all by yourself in the truck so we will be back later with uh, high mileage meatloaf part two <laughs> don't eat too much candy so you can eat your meatloaf today Timmy and uh, I'll get back to you and show you what the outcome is. Hope everybody has a good day and be safe.